XPN versus Bonks. Here we go. Game number two. Can Bonks win it out? Or can XPN win? Now, as we wait for the game to start, Tears of the Desert. So, Alpha Spawn is considered to be the better spawn here, which makes it interesting that XPN's willing to pick it because I, from teams I've talked to, Alpha Spawn's genuinely considered better because you get the better side of the Dorito chip as well as a couple other advantages up at A and C. But everybody is different. We'll see what happens here. We'll see who wins. And we got some changes already. This is intriguing. So we'll start with the side of Bonks. Here in green, you're seeing three DDs this time. Double Shima and a Harugamo. And both Shimas are running 20 kilometer torps. For the cruisers, you are seeing three Des Moines and a Salem, and then Yamato, Montana for the battleships. On the side of XPN, you are seeing Ragnar gearing Daring, then you are seeing Salem, Nevsky, a Venezia, and a Moskva, and then Ohio and Change here, you're seeing a Conqueror. Now, a couple interesting things. Conqueror being brought definitely for the HE spam instead of the Montana. Venezia is a really good ship for slapping uh enemies you get a lot of good damage on that sap and if you can hit those shells onto dds those dds just evaporate now as we go in and we watch we'll see who goes where So, it looks like for the side of Bonks, they're going to send the Shima, the Harugamo, the Des Moines, and Des Moines to sea, along with the Salem in Montana. And then just a Shima, Des Moines, Yamato up to A. This is intriguing to see this, that it seems like the play is going to be fought at C very strongly. Usually you see it a little more towards A. Over on the side of XPN, you're going to see a Gearing, a Venezia, a Conqueror, and a Moskva heading to A. Daring a Farting Chick heading into the middle. And then Ragnar... Nevsky, Salem, and Ohio going south. Now, as we look, this is the Dorito chip island I'm talking about. So you typically will see people put ships on this because it is a strong control. People like this side more usually because you have the two areas where you can have the angles to protect yourself, whereas on this side, your only ability is to put yourself right on either side of that. You don't have as much area of safety. So that is one of the reasons people like the alpha spawn better. We'll continue to watch, see where it goes. Looks like it'll be B cap for free to the side of XPN. There's nothing that's going to stop that daring from capping uh, because there's nothing in position. The Des Moines of Arch Zero isn't going to have the radar range or the positioning, assuming the DD of Farting Chick goes straight onto the cap. Over here at A, Gearing should win the push up there. And they're using him to push straight up. So one of the strats you'll see a lot of times is you'll see Des Moines or such getting smoked up into this area, this area, so they can get to the island. You're not going to see that here. So it looks like the gearing is going to be used straight up to drop torps, go towards the cap. They're going to use the Venezia, Conqueror, and Moskva as support. Moskva is probably going to end up somewhere here or here for radar support and Venezia and Conqueror on the flanks. And as we said and expected, B is now being capped by the daring of Farting Chick. And down at sea now, the Shimikaze of Todd Howard's in first. Salem and Ohio pushing around, and Ohio's got to be very careful there, because with 15 Torps having the range, that can be brutal if you're not careful. Nevsky of slow LNF has been spotted. Now, he is playing this backing in, so he'll be able to move forward. Shells from the Des Moines. They've got the Des Moines spot, and this is one of those things. You've got the broadside on that Des Moines. Ooh, 18k already off, and that's not where you want to have the Des Moines of Arch Zero at. Taking 18k before he gets the island, and it's actually up to 20k now, is rough. Sure, you get 10k back onto the Nevsky, but Arch Zero, he's got, he has gone into position, so he's happy there because he can sit and spam. Oh, and the Montana of Merca slaps the Ohio there, 14,000. But anyway, sure, you've got him locked in. To the position now but he's got to be very careful because if you lose if a is lost by bonks you're going to get really hurt radar out they can now see the des moines and the moskva of v is pushing up and aggressive so they've actually not sent him to a they're sending him into the middle here to try to dislodge that des moines it'll be interesting to see what happens 
one cap to each side so about a 20 to 30 point lead for the side of xpn they are also up about 25,000 health and now the ragnar of asherona has shots on arch zero and this is really not a comfortable position for arch zero he's got to be very careful here not to get slapped shells out onto the montana of america from the ohio a little bit of damage nothing to write a home about and now Acherona for that damage is get that he put onto the des moines is getting really really smacked Thirteen thousand damage there's the heal there's the speed boost there's the dcp he's trying to get out of here without taking too much but he's gonna be spotted for a while and we'll see what happens oh torps coming out here does oh they don't have the range Torps look good from the Daring, but they don't have the range. Moskva now going to take advantage, use his HE spam to work on that Des Moines. Ragnar back down to half his health, and remember, he has two more heals, but he doesn't have a DCP, and he's trying to get dark right now, but it's not working out very well. Down to just over 15,000. Gets... Hit again, 14,300, we'll keep an eye. But there are fights going on all across the map right now. And the Conqueror of Yimmings has been slapped, but he's printing a ship, so he will be fine. And so let's go up for a bird's eye view, look at everything as we go, because you can just see how there's fights at all corners of the map from right to left, left to right, as we look at this. Gearing of Glacial's been... He's not spotted right now, don't know if he was, but still, being down to 13,000, 10,000 health off of gearing never feels good when you don't have a way to repair it. Arch Zero is now down to 24,000. They've got the shells over onto him, and they're trying to get him out of there. 20,000. Shells coming in. Let's zoom in and see. This is the one nice thing about this position. As you look here, and we watch those shells, the shells can get across, but look at where they're landing, not landing where they need to. Des Moines and Moskva fighting. Fairly even balanced match, you would think, most of the time, but the problem is the fact that the... Des Moines has so much little health. They're going to have the Shimakaze run over, and I don't know if that's for a smoke. Yep, looks like they're going to smoke up that Des Moines. Try to keep him dark. And can work out well, but you also got to be careful that it doesn't get your Shimakaze blind fired. Health lead is now swung in the favor of Bonks, 14,000. They've also got two caps to one, so they are up by 40 points and going from there. Des Moines has now been spotted again by the Nevsky radar. He's trying to get out there, trying to use that smoke from the Shimmer to pull him out. Will he get past this Moskva salvo is the question. Moskva salvo out. Looks like he's got the turn, 16,000. How long till the radar's down? 15 seconds. Ohio shells are going to not be aimed at the Des Moines. They're going for the Montana. They don't hit. Des Moines of Arch Zero has been pulled out of the position. So Bonk sends the Shima in on a rescue mission. He gets the smoke, gets him out. But they've given up that position, which will now give a stronger mid control to the side of XPN. Ragnar of Acherona still has one heal left. He's taking a lot of damage to be 14,000. The Salem of Fishing Pod is using a heal. He's getting hurt. So right now we're seeing Bonks really put that work in and use the fact they've got the Des Moines down there on the south to drive the enemy ships out of position for now. And we gotta watch. Here comes some big shells in. Does Fishing Pod have the line dodge? Here's the shells. And he gets deleted by Merica. Salem goes down. First kill just over seven minutes in. And that is a huge advantage for the side of Bonks. The Montana finds the shells pops them off the map, and now XPN has to dive away from C. They are stopping A briefly. Gearing has been spotted because the Des Moines of Addy has gone up there to the north and has got him under radar. So the Des Moines, the Gearing of Glacial is having to back out. They've got shells up there, but XPN has lost the first ship, and that's going to put them in a real rough spot. Gearing of Glacial might be second one down. They've got him dark, but he's still getting focus fired well. 1800 health he's trying to dodge and that health lead we talked about it being 20,000 in favor of xpn at one point it's now 50,000 in favor of bonks and as we go in here nevsky of slow pulling away as everyone focuses and you can tell bonks feels the blood in the water coming Moskva of V is now pushed up north. They're trying to get the kill and answer back on A. Shots out onto him from the Des Moines of Arch Zero, who's been walloped down to 20k. We talked about that. He's been repositioned. So now he gets his chance at revenge. But Moskva's angling, no major damage. Shimakaze has 16 seconds left of spotting. 
And so they're going to try to get whatever damage they can onto him. Shells out down to 13k and change. Should be one more salvo for the Moskva right there. He shoots it out. Doesn't hit. Venezia doesn't hit. And now the Yamato has the shots onto the Moskva and he does not manage to get the pen or the Citadel. Moskva has to back up though. though he's in an uncomfortable spot now because he's got a Des Moines here. He's got a Des Moines there. And he's got a Yamato there. <laughs> Nowhere safe for him to be. 200 point lead to the side of Bonks, and they are going to lose A, albeit temporarily. But you can see the push up here from C happening. Nevsky and Ohio being forced to kite back. Ragnar of Asheron is sitting there in B trying to defend. And we'll watch what happens here as we go in. There's the cap, so that points lead will shrink. Yamato is getting smacked. That uh, Daring being smoked up has him. Venezia is getting him. He's at 22,000. He doesn't have a DCP for 54 seconds. So if they get another fire two on him, that may be a dead Yamato there. Moskva V is going to be soon to follow, though, at 18,000 if they're not careful. So, Yamato's heal is done here in two seconds. Don't know how long the fire has yet, but there's the HE continuing in. Still spotted. Doesn't look like he's going to take the Torp. Here's another set of HE from the Conqueror. Down to 11k. Still on fire. He has a heal in 30 seconds. Can they kill him in the next 30 seconds? Here's more Conqueror spam coming out. Yamato turning. There's the fire off him. Does he get another fire right here? He does get another fire, and it's going to be tight. 18 seconds. Daring a farting chick opening up. That is going to be a dead Yamato. But look at the damage coming in for Bonks onto that Moskva. 9,000. They're going to trade it back really soon. So Yamato goes down, which does give some security up here at A. And now we're going to see that push come through onto B from Bonks. Points lead is only 50 points. It'll go back up here as the Moskva goes down right now. So it'll be a two ship or it'll be a one ship lead again to the side of Bonks. They lead by 140 points, but the health lead is down to 30,000. Now comes the interesting thing where we've got a kind of awkward map state for both teams. So you've got Bonks pushing into B, and that points lead is going to stay at 60. You've got Bonks with the two ships up here, which are helping be the anvil. But the issue is that, and big smack on to Addy right there, the issue is that with the Venezia and the Daring pinching there, if the Des Moines and Shimikaze go down, then A is defended and the push comes back into B. This is still anyone's game. 140 point lead to the side of Bonks. They're about to crest 800 points and it will go down to a two minute and change cap time soon. Des Moines has used a heal. He's got 16 seconds to the last one. And now you can see they're opening up. They want him dead. They are absolutely want him dead. Des Moines is pushing forward. And he's going to try to get safe. Venezia has come out. Shimikaze has the shots onto the Venezia. Venezia has no way to spot him. He's turning, but if he turns that way, he might run into the, uh, he might run into those Torps. Now, uh, with that, Torps are looking good. Shimikaze does take some damage. Addy is down to 13,000. We're going to go back a little bit bigger zoom, see what's going on elsewhere. Ohio's ball and cupcakes is going to go down. That'll be another kill. So now it's down to a minute and 30 seconds until the side of Bonks wins. Can XPN find the kill this game to keep the time going? We will see. Torps are in. Are Torps going to hit that Des Moines? Torps are going to hit that Des Moines. That Des Moines is going to be dead. That will give XPN a little bit of time. And now you're seeing that push back into the middle. Gearing has no health, so he can't be spotted. And the Conqueror does take one. Conqueror is using his heal, though, so he will have some time. And now you see the push coming in to the mid. And the challenge. Conqueror is going to try to get dark here, but he's going to have a Shimikaze to deal with. Two seconds left on that. Seven seconds. The Conqueror might go down here to the Montana. Does he get shells out? He gets one set out. Does he get a second set? He doesn't die yet. He gets the second set out. Des Moines of Balbonks down to 37,000. Make that 35,000. They do get the Conqueror. Two ship lead. One minute until the side of uh, Bonks wins. Venezia is going to spot soon. Oh, and the gearing goes down. Gearing goes down. 21 seconds. XPN needs a kill now. Venezia has smoke for another four seconds. Then he should spot the Shima, but it'll be tight. Can he get the shells off? Shima's trying to go for the Torp do setup. Torp setup's going to be interesting. Here we go. Venezia's got the spot. Does he die here? Shells go out. He deletes Dire. Can he dodge the Torps? 40 seconds left. Can they find the kill? Ragnar of Acheron is going to go down, so it may not even matter. Butters takes the Torp. 
But Bonks is going to get the Ragnar. And with the Ragnar, ladies and gentlemen, they are going to win the game. And your winner taking game two and the series 2-0 is the team of Bonks. And Bonks will move on to the quarterfinals. XPN will drop down to loser's bracket.